Hugo Villa. Hi everybody, I'm Igor Tavella and today I'm honored and pleased to do this takeover for Castelli Cycling during the Yolomites 5000. Follow us during this day and I show you some of the amazing playground of Alta Badia and the Ladin Valleys. Stay tuned, it gets interesting. Camera car. We just did the second climb of the Yolomites 5000. We are on pitch touch and now we are ready to get to the third climb of the day. We have an amazing day. It's just beautiful. So how is it so far? Nice. Style. Style. Style is style. Santa Barbara KOM With the uh, airdrop Avete abbandonato uno subito So everybody, we just finished one, two, three, the third climb and third climb means we are 38k into the right with 1600 meters altitude gain. If you compare it, if you compare that to the Sella Ronda, it's about 50k right, 1400. So this is pretty much harder than a Sela Ronda, but look at the views and the roads empty. Finally lunch time. After lunch we climb again and now from San Vigilio up to Forcia, but on an amazing side road, the main road is this one. Forza, forza, forza! Yeah, of course, at the Yolomites 5000, we have amazing descents. Chiara! How is, how is the downhill? Nice! <laughs> Sorry for the delay with news about this takeover, but right now I am done, not the other ones. <laughs> Chiara, how many kilometers into the right are we now? Uh, 90. How many altitude gain? More or less and 4,000 meters. So, what is left? I'm not good with math. Uh, 
1,000 meters and uh, 30, 35 kilometers. Why are you, are you riding so fast today? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why we have this little snack? Check out how the Yolomites 5000 was born here. So five years ago on some ride, uh, I think it was in May, uh, we were on a ride with Igor and we had done like a thousand meters of climbing in like 20 K and no climb had been longer than like 20 minutes. It was just up and down, up and down, super steep, off road, a little bit of everything. And I remember thinking, I wonder how much climbing we can do in a short amount of time as possible. And I was like, you know, what about 2000 or 3000? It didn't sound that great. And I was like four, mm, that's pretty good. And then 5,000 sounded really cool. And so, I challenged Igor in a way to to design a route in which we did 5,000 meters of climbing on super cool roads in as short amount of time as possible. And it ended up being about 130K, and I kind of love it still. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and today... We're unfortunately not there, and right this second, they're... They're doing it. Yolamites 5000 version 5.0. Uh, I really wish we could be there, but at the same time, I'm super happy to be here right now, and I'm enjoying this tour. <laughs> I think that's it. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hi, <laughs> Daniel. How you going? Top of Paso de Herbe. So, this is the view after 4,000 meters. Worth the effort. Arrivo! So, this is the view after 4,000 meters altitude gain. Hope you like it and enjoy it. I am done. Look at this guy. Yes, this one. Always half a wheel in front of me unbelievable this time I had to stop because I had to do this video So Igor, how far is the finish line? <laughs> Too far. <laughs> Too far. What gear are you using now? I can't count. It's the gear where you can still balance a little bit. Oh, finished! So easy! Okay guys, we are on the seventh and last climb of the Yolomites 5000. As you see, the Yolomites always deliver. That's the view. And now we reach the Armantara Meadows and then last Descend towards home. Let's see where the group is. Coming along. Okay guys, keep tight. Are you ready? Five, four, 
three, two, one. Ba no filters, no cramps, no flat tires, just nature and and no cows. Kudos to Chiara, as she's the only girl this year to do the full Yonomite 5000 course. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Behem. part of the Yolomites crew. <laughs> Grazie. 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 Not really convincing. <laughs>